we started up Promontory where they drove the Golden Spike and rode on over to Wendover across the old transcontinental rail route to Lucen, Utah and then dropped south into Wendover. From there we went down through Blue Lake and Gold Hill and uh, took a side trip on up Goshute Canyon which is a pretty nice ride. We rode down across and into Fillmore. Kind of wintered there but we overshot spring so we're back to fall. We've continually asked the question of where in the world is Chris Brimhall? He's here, he's there, he's riding south, he's riding north. It's never the same story twice. For the past year, Chris has taken us on this lengthy journey across the west with the goal to get from famous Promontory Point all the way to the Arizona border outside Kanab, Utah. For most of us, that is a trip that would take probably six or seven hours and we'd be on pavement going 75 most of the way. Chris isn't that boring. You see, pavement's boring. I-15 is boring. Cars are boring. So in order to avoid that, you have to leave them behind. Or at least, Chris does. Today, a dirt road that very few people would recognize takes him from Fillmore, Utah on the next leg of his journey. We're headed up Chalk Creek. It's Route 1 across the Paiute Trail system. Going up Chalk Creek, it's quite the ride. It, it's pretty impressive. You, you cross the stream about seven different times and you get to the top there's a, a campground and the day we was there you walk out on the little bridge and the reflection on the water was just incredible it was very pretty and there on up over route three and down into marysville utah most of the roads up on top are big wide roads when you come up chalk creek you come up a nice atv trail i'd say maybe 10 miles and route three is pretty impressive going on up over the pass and you intersect back with one and you head on down, drop into I-70 by the Paiute Indian Reservation. Oh, it's pretty steep coming back down off of that plateau. And we went on kind of a little roundabout and up over Severe Canyon and back down and dropped into Marysville and stayed there for the night. Marysville, just off Highway 89 in southern Utah, about a half hour's drive south of Richfield, is the perfect stopping or starting point for an off-highway adventure. The Paiute is right on their doorstep, and hotels allow weary travelers a chance to rest up from a long ride through the towering mountains. The town is small, but that's part of its charm, particularly for someone looking to escape the rest of the world, if only for a few days. If there was one thing holding the rest of us back from a trip like what Chris is taking, it wouldn't be opportunity. Here in the Rockies, as well as the deserts of Nevada and Arizona, there are thousands of miles of legal trails that intersect and lead, as Chris has so effectively demonstrated, almost everywhere. No, if there were one thing holding us back, it would simply be motivation. Especially as the weather chills, we find it easier to just sit inside and let the world lie fallow for a while. The ATV is covered and we let opportunity freeze over. Riding out into the unknown is just as thrilling in December as it is in May, though. Sometimes even more so, since often the things we put more effort into pay greater dividends than the things we're just planning on doing anyway. For Chris, motivation can be a problem, too. He just rides right over it. Oh, I just love it. I love to go out, see the different country, and I like to link all these trails together so I can start from Five Mile Pass out here. And go to Fillmore. I don't have to jump in my car and haul my machine down there. I can ride it. It's something I think everybody should go out and do. The, the Chalk Creek, I've heard about it for years and never been up there, and I'm sure sad that I hadn't gone sooner. That regret would be far greater if he'd chosen never to go at all. From here, the trail leads toward Kanab, but after so much time already spent behind the handlebars, Chris still has a way to go. The journey doesn't end today, but for Chris, it never really is going to end anyway. One day he won't suddenly find a dead end in the road and be forced to turn around and never find any more adventure. That is the great thing about exploration in the first place. It may just be the only thing in life that is truly infinite. For At Your Leisure, I'm Stephen Hewitt.